Hi Taurus, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your financial abundance. Tarot and Oracle card reading. Now you'll notice I set out this beautiful crystal grid for manifesting. No, that money comes easily and frequently, my friends. So we are going to do the Moonology with the Fortune Oracle today, going past, present, future, and advice. I'm really excited to do these readings. I'm so glad I got off the grid for all of you. And then we get into the Fortune Oracle. I think I might have said that. Oh, I'm liking this. Looking good. And then now let's um, hit up the tarot and see what else you need to know about money. Okay, same setup. In the past, you have the Two of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. The present, we've got, oh boy, the Ten of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, I can see why you're here, and the Magician. In the future, we've got the Five of Cups, the Lion, and the Sun. Now, the advice, you've got the Four of Wands, the King of Pentacles, I'm liking it, the Seven of Swords, so beware. Now, some of you may have to make a di difficult decision with money and say no to somebody who's thinking or will, will tell you that they depended on you. I feel like there's something about that um, in terms of that Five of Cups, Ten of Swords. So in the past you have here, first quarter moon in Aquarius, trust the universe with the card of the mountain. Know that you are protected as you face challenges, but remain cautious. So they're telling you, don't give up. Keep moving forward, but don't get impulsive. Don't move forward impulsively. So know that spirit is always looking out for you. You know, when you have those incidents, and they're not co co coincidence or co-occurring incidents, when you get delayed and then you pass an accident and you say, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I left five minutes later. I was so frantic to leave and get out of here, but thank goodness, because I couldn't deal with that right now. I don't need that headache. That's the kind of stuff where you know that spirit is looking out for you, that your angels are saying, hey, just take a minute, just be easy about it. Now, in the energy in the past, I feel like you weren't seeing some options with that two of swords, or if you're in a partnership and it was your partner, who did something silly with money like they had a friend who wanted them to invest money in something and they lost money with that two of swords, three of pentacles, like they got talked into something, smooth talked into something. And I feel like it was a fair amount of money, like 10,000, 15,000. Now, if it's not quite on that level, but it's somebody that keeps paying for people or if it's you that's doing it too and you're never getting repaid, and you are finally ready to cut this person off, I feel like you've done more than your fair share of supporting them. Now, if you've been in a situation too where they promised you opportunities at a job, or even if you were in a, a rental situation and they say, hold tight there, we've got another one opening that'll really meet your needs, and the thing hasn't come. I feel like whatever this is, it's very stagnant and stuck, and what it's doing is pushing you forward. Because you're the ball. You're not going to just sit there and wait for something forever. If they are not good on their word sooner than later, I feel like you're going to move on to something else. So in the present, you've got the first quarter moon in Libra. Keep your heart open, but with the snake. Your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path. Just be careful. So again, not allowing anyone to manipulate you okay, or project on you their behaviors. You know what that's called? That call's coming from inside the house when they start playing those games. So I do feel like with this, the tarot and the oracle cards are your best friends. The cards do not lie. They're telling you to be aware of something, be wary of somebody, who I feel like they just kind of string people along. You have a very empowered energy here. You have the infinity symbol here three different times. And it only appears in four cards total. Infinite opportunities, but it comes from letting somebody go. 
or letting something go, even if it's a service provider that just has done a really crappy job for you and you say enough is enough. They have not been on their A game in years. I have got to move on. It's costing me money. I'm not happy. I'm not going back there. Let's move forward. Because with that two of pentacles, the shift and change might leave you a little bit emotional, especially if it's somebody that's worked on your house or done your hair or you've been in a, a certain business for a long, long time. I feel like with the magician, you can get it somewhere else better. Now, the magician is a great energy. If you had a job that ended and you're interviewing, you go because with the magician energy, that's where you land the job in the interview. You don't even leave without it. If you're starting a new business and you're working on some details and you're leaving somebody behind, especially if you thought you were going to collaborate with somebody and it's not going to happen, I do feel like they're going to be sad about it. Anything you leave, the person feels legitimately sad. They might be a bit dramatic, but I do feel like it's time for you to move on. It's just something that's not meeting the mark. And so know that with the magician, you're a master manifester. So pay attention to your feelings because especially if you're walking away resentful every time, you're going to keep attracting situations that aren't a match and it's going to get really frustrating for you. So I do feel like they're urging you to move forward and move forward for yourself. So I love to see the chariot and the outcome here. You have last quarter moon in Capricorn. Leave the past behind with the chariot. Charge ahead with confidence. Stay strong and focus. Nothing's going to stop you, my friends. I feel like with this, it's like get out of the way. Set your intentions. The ch chariot is like throwing your cap up on graduation day. It's a sign that you have more success to come, that you are driven towards success. So allow it to be so. And like I said, I feel like this five of cups shows up because you've had enough with the weight game. You're not here to be a people pleaser. Codependent no more, right? And so with that five of cups, I feel like it represents somebody around you. There is a change coming that they may not be a huge fan of, but you know what? They've had lots of time to do their thing and they haven't. And with the energy of strength, you may try to let them down gently, but I feel like they're telling you a strength in the sun. Focus on you. Focus on your goals, your dreams, your aspirations, because with the sun, you have huge gains coming your way. This is one of those times where you will let them down gently, but then you're going to quickly recover and move on. Now, if you lost a job, I feel like you get a new one here and they may come back around trying to get you back and it's not enough a little too late. Anybody that lets you slip through their fingers, they're going to be very disappointed. And I do feel like they're going to try to get your business back. I just had a, I canceled Sirius after a while and I just got a, a letter in the mail from them saying, would you come back for $5 a month? So you know how they do all of a sudden the prices drop because they want your business. So I do feel like with this, you're going to move forward and that sun illuminates everything. Now, I also feel like if you leave a situation, you go off to be happy, joyous, free, but you may have somebody who's a bit of a spoiled loser. Last quarter moon in Sagittarius, practice gratitude with the card of goals. Progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved. You bet they will be. You're here to grow and expand. And you know what? We should never try to halt another person's growth or expansion until we can catch up. It's just not spiritually fair. It is not spiritually the right thing to do. So I do feel like with this Four of Wands and, and King of Pentacles, you've got the 1111 card, but this is an energy telling you law of attraction, that yellow in the background, you have it several times in this reading, is warmth, it's growth, but... That four of wands, king of pentacles, I feel like they're saying you go towards the prize. You have somebody here, though, with the seven of swords who may talk about you. They may get a little nasty for a while. And all that's going to do is make their apology be more difficult to accept. With the king of pentacles and four of wands, you'll get more than you realized. I heard more bang for your buck. If it's a job, they'll end up having more opportunities for training, for time off. If it's uh, unlimited PTO you'll actually be able to use it. And I feel like, again, 
you're going to be running up that corporate ladder. It doesn't have to be a corporation, but you're going to be running up and making gains. So there's no stagnant energy here for you. Good things are on the way. I love you, Taurus, and I'll be back again soon.